Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt, also known as the Ammo Nerd. Over here on my channel, I like to present you guys with a lot of data and information versus entertainment so that if you guys are doing any kind of research on picking up a particular load or buying a lot of it because you need you know, a certain power factor or velocity for some kind of competition, you can stop over here at my channel and check out what I have to offer. My wife is opening the door to the garage over there. Up for review today is our 44 mag from MagTech. This is a 240 grain semi-jacketed flat point. In full transparency, I picked this up from SG Ammo with some funds that one of my longtime followers, Robert K, donated. Let's throw him on the table and talk about what we're going to do today. For our 44 mag testing, we have two barrel lengths afforded to us, a 5 inch and a 16 inch. I borrowed the 16 inch Ruger carbine from my father every now and then, and he gripes about how he has to clean it, but I'm thankful that he lets me borrow it. We're going to collect a basic velocity and accuracy test with this particular load. Then we're going to do a ballistics gel test to see what this particular type of round will do in clear ballistics gel. And then after all that, we'll send you on your merry way. As mentioned, we only have two barrel lengths in our 44 Magnum. I don't do a whole lot of testing with this, but I want to use our Desert Eagle here for some of our level 3A and helmet testing coming up this year. This is our Magnum Research Desert Eagle. It has the ported 44 mag barrel on it so i think effectively we're getting around five inches of barrel length for our rifling here Next up, we've got our 16-inch barrel. This is our Ruger carbine and 44 Magnum, of course. I borrowed this from my dad. Nice little setup here. Pretty darn accurate if I do say so myself. This is at 25 yards using the Ruger carbine with the 16 inch. I do believe there is a Leopold 5 power scope on there. This was my practice group, which was pretty good. And then I had a flyer there. Our second group was 0.794 inches. Then our third group was 0.963, about 45 degrees outside today. A little bit of wind, maybe have some effect on there, but I highly doubt it at 25 yards. I would say it's pretty respectable for a big fat slug of that nature. As requested by Robert, we are going to run this 240 grain jacketed soft point against our clear ballistics gel. It's a 10% variant, six by six by 16. We'll run a shot from the Desert Eagle and the carbine. Hopefully we can hit these blocks. Can't complain about that shot. Shot that a little low, folks. Well, Robert, here in about 15 seconds, you'll probably see why this is not a good load if you need any good terminal effect and limited penetration. This shot down here is from the 16 inch. This shot up here 
is from the Desert Eagle and so is the shot behind it. We have good wounding very, very quickly into that block. But unfortunately, we have lots and lots of penetration. I lost the first five inch shot out of the block at the 20 inch mark. The second shot actually dove down, penetrated to the 28 inch mark and then left the block. That bullet you see there at 28 and a half inches is the 16 inch. So if you need a very deep penetrating load, this would be it for you but we'll pull that bullet out of there in a second and you'll see that we really didn't get any expansion out of it here's a top down shot with this particular velocity and bullet diameter you're looking at permanent wound cavity only and because that bullet didn't expand at all or have any petals you're only going to have you know wounding very close to what the bullet diameter is because those talons are not there doing any tearing or anything. But that's pretty typical for, you know, a pistol velocity bullet. Okay, I fibbed a little bit. It did expand, but it mainly just crushed that soft point over and expansion isn't that great. We'll get some macros on that, but probably not something I would take in a hunting scenario, definitely look at some of the other loads that are known to have some expansion and good thermal performance. Well, folks, there you have it. This particular load, at least in 44 mag, from what I've tested, seems to be fairly accurate. We had good velocity figures off of this load, although I personally am trying to find a way to get 1,430 feet per second out of our Desert Eagle with a 240 grain load for some level 3A soft armor. And based on what I got from this and what I've been doing in hand loading, I don't think I'm going to make it. As far as our clear gel results go, there's always the argument that the results that we get from that are not really valid compared to actual organic gel or tissue. This particular bullet design just really didn't have much expansion. Pretty much the little semi-jacketed flat nose pushed down a little bit and we got a little bit of expansion out of there but tons and tons of penetration probably not around that I would use in any scenario versus an actual you know purpose-built jacketed hollow point bonded or otherwise for any kind of hunting use with all that being said it's time for me to get the heck out of here but at the end of all my videos I take a moment to thank all those who help make these possible number one is my patreon and subscribe star fans I have a link tree in the description below there's various different ways to either contact me if you have any follow-up questions because sometimes I don't see the YouTube comments. I also have different affiliate links in there from different vendors that help support me so I can actually purchase, say, that barrel for that Desert Eagle. Number two is Sam at SG Ammo. He's been a longtime supporter of the channel. I pretty much sent him an email and asked if he had any of this. And luckily, like two days later, he had got a shipment of it in. It worked out perfect for our testing. Number three is my buddy Robert K, who in full transparency donated the funds for us to test these rounds. And of course, number four is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range and don't skip leg day.